government is on the brink of another civil war. On January 24th, Texas Governor Greg Abbott declared an invasion of the southern border, citing six million illegal immigrants have crossed the border in the past two years. In that declaration, he also mobilized the Texas National Guard, which is basically the military of Texas. The Texas National Guard then put up barbed wire around U.S. border hotspots, hoping to deter the people from crossing into the U.S. And the U.S. government did not like that, accusing the Texas government of overstepping its boundaries. The Biden administration administration then took the matter to the Supreme Court, which ruled in the favor of the U.S., citing that Texas had indeed overstepped its boundaries, stating that the U.S. and its federal agents had the right to remove the wire. After the U.S. federal agents removed the razor wire, Texas Governor Greg Abbott then issued the invasion statement. He basically accused the U.S. president of failing his sworn duty of protecting the people of the United States. So he has decided to take matters into his own hands. The Texas National Guard has returned to laying more razor wire, and happening right now, there is currently a standoff between the Texas National Guard and U.S. officials. This comes just a few years years after Texas laws were introduced to leave the U.S. We haven't seen anything like this since the Civil War, which is exactly why. With separatist sentiment rising. Okay, here's um, a video game. Kind of like this video came, game came out in 2005 on the Xbox. And it's pretty much going over the predictive programming, uh, which happens, like I've been telling you guys, in movies, TV shows um video games all that and they always have to show you before it comes out and see one thing about predictive programming um you gotta understand like so you had the world you had the movie the leave the world behind which pretty much showed the grid going down and um people didn't know what to do which it will that's going to happen in america 100 percent um you know how the electric cars that's the reason why they're pushing out electric cars because when the grid goes out, you're going to have nowhere to go. So they want to induce a lot of fear and panic. It's the same thing what happened in Maui, guys, when the fires came out and Liana, hopefully I'm saying that city name right. Um, when the fires were out, people who had the electric cars, they couldn't go anywhere. They were trapped. Okay. This, that's why it's the agenda. That's why they're giving people $7,500 for buying EV cars as a tax write-off or a tax uh, cut or whatever. Uh, an agenda, guys. Um, so yeah, so a lot of people are expecting the leave the world behind thing to happen in America. It's going to happen, but it's not gonna happen when you expect. You gotta understand the elites are a lot smarter than you. You have the same thing coming out with the movie called Civil War coming out this year, this year in April, I believe. I can't wait to watch that movie. It looks like it's gonna be good, a good predictive program that's gonna happen to America. But, but see, the average human being, when they watch those movies, they just look at it as entertainment. They're not. They're not seeing it as oh wow, like you know, this could come. This could happen in America. The average person doesn't think like that, um, and this is why they do this. It's all predictive programming. Uh, but one thing, when I, when I watch movies, guys, like I, you know, you can call me conspiracy theorist, whatever you want to call me, but I watch a movie to get the message behind it. You know, I'm not watching it to get entertained, especially a movie like Civil War. I mean, some movies I do, but a movie like Civil War, leave the word behind. Show me, show me what, show me what the elites are, are trying to show us. You know, a movie that was produced by the Obamas. Like this, this is crazy. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play this whole thing. I'm gonna talk a little bit more too about it. California's governor declares home rule and secedes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry. Before I play it, I've been saying this too, guys. If there's ever gonna be a war that's gonna really shake up the people, that's gonna shake up the nations, it's not gonna be in Iraq. It's not gonna be in Israel. It's not going to be in Ukraine. It's going to be in you in the U.S., guys. That's going to be the real judgment, of the Most High, guys, and that's why you know. Um, and this is what this is what they want you to be operating off of. They want you to be operating off of confusion, fear, doubt, worry, uh, anxiety, uh, being fearful. Because when this is how they control the sheep. This is how they control the goats. That you know by them being fearful. Uh, but like I always told you guys, like this, you should be you should be rejoicing when this has happened. If you're right with God, if you're on the right side of history. You gave your life to Christ. There's nothing to worry about at all. You're keeping God's commandments. You're, you're gonna laugh when all this happens. And those people who are gonna be fearful and those people who didn't have their firm foundation on a rock, you know, but it was built on a sand. When this happens, they're gonna be swept away, guys. Just like just like it would be in the days of Noah. Okay, Noah was right with the Most High, so he had nothing to worry about. A lot of people playing church, double-minded, lukewarm, um, you know, things of that nature. They're going to be suffering. They're going to be the ones fear, fear, uh, fearful. They're going to be eating up 
um, the lies by the media and all the brainwashing. Okay, so always understand that, guys. The war is going to happen in America. The world is going to shake up the you know, the people, um, shake up the nations. Now, I don't think it's going to happen this year. Like I said, guys, the elites how they work. It always when they when it catches you unexpected. Okay, uh, before there's ever going to be like this type of war, there's going to be another lockdown. Uh, all control, guys. All control. And it's funny because the video that I made about the disease. <laughs> X, okay. Uh, they shadow ban that video, guys. Like you see, every time I bring forth certain information that they don't want people to know, they're gonna push the push the video to the side. That's why it's so important. That's why I told people to like the video, share it, because you know who knows how long that video is gonna be on YouTube, okay? Um, and so yeah, guys, understand this. When the, when the war hits America, man, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty ugly, man. Babylon is is done, okay? And here, let me let me play this real quick. Texas follows quickly and declares sovereignty, taking... So as you can see, all predicted programming, all this came out years ago, guys. <laughs> ...neighboring states with them and forming the Republic of Texas. Now, the once United States of America lie in ruin. The time for words has passed. And a second American civil war now erupts as seven factions wage the war, war in America. across the land. They battle one another to reclaim a nation, to restore peace. So it says, a house divided against itself cannot stand Abraham Lincoln. No, 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 that's not Abraham. <laughs> All right, I have to disagree with that. That's not Abraham Lincoln, guys. That's the Bible. Okay, let, let's get that verse for y'all real quick. Let's get it. And I guess whoever uh, made this video here, let me pause it for you guys real quick. It's, a, it's an Xbox game that came out in 2000 and, um, 2005, okay? And look what the editor did, which I agree. He put, he edited it and put 2025. I agree. I don't think it's gonna happen this year, but if there's a war, it's gonna most likely be linked with the election. Uh, a lot of people think Trump's gonna make it. A lot of people putting their trust and faith and hope in Trump. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna be disappointed, man. Even if he does win. Okay, even if he does win, um, I'm betting on him not to win. Um, I just don't see how they uh, not allow Biden, the puppet that's been doing, fulfilling the roles. He's been giving all the money to Ukraine. And I, I just don't see, like I said, I don't want to be political, but this is just my prediction. Not God told me, the Lord told me. No, no, no. This is my prediction. We're going to see Biden again. Or I also heard that, oh, I, I don't know if this is true. Now, I don't really po follow politics, but I'm hearing that Obama's wife is going to run for president. Um, I, what's her name? I don't even know her what her name is, but I could see that happening too. I could see Babylon be, be the president of Babylon of America being a woman. Like it makes perfect sense because women rule over men. You might as well just put a woman as a president. You might as well. Don't make her VP like the uh, the Biden. What, what, what's her name is? Uh, the light skinned girl. Uh, you, you might as well just put a woman as president. Wom woman rule over men in this country. I mean, just look around. You might as well. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me, let me give you guys this Bible verse. All right. Once again, I don't like how they put a house divided against this stuff cannot stand. They said Abraham Lincoln was like, quote. No, I agree with the video, but I don't agree with that. Let's get straight to the Bible, man. Because remember, everything that's happening in this world, guys, is all prophetic. Everything. Okay. Uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 23 to 27. King James Version. And he called in, uh, them into him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Okay, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So what are we seeing in America, guys? You have the Trump and the Biden supporters. Uh, they're all divided, uh, Republican, Democrat, uh, red versus blue. And remember, guys, they're all they're all part of the, the elites. They're all part of the same agenda, guys. And this is why I said I don't follow politics. It's all part of the matrix. I'm not putting my trust in Biden. I'm not putting my trust in Trump. And a lot of people are doing that. And, and guys, I've seen, guys, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of people look up to Trump like he's... Like Jesus, <laughs> like he's a savior. Like he's going to save the nation. You're going to be disappointed, man. Okay. Uh, you're going to be disappointed. Okay. Uh, verse 25 says, and if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. So this is true. This is Jesus. This is a quote from Jesus. But they said to Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> uh, anyways, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. Okay, and no man can enter to a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Okay, so uh, this is what's happening in America. It's just 
people are being divided, red versus blue, Democrat versus Republican, um, Trump versus blah, 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 or Biden or whoever's, I don't even, I don't even follow that stuff, guys. I don't really care about it, but um, this is it. This is what's happening. This is what's happening in America. Like you cannot, you can no longer ignore the things, the signs that are coming. I mean, anyone who's, who's ignorant of what's to come, the, the civil war, more lockdowns, uh, more planned pandemics, okay? Uh, more of this, like anyone who's ignorant of the, the mark of the beast being, you know, slowly implemented, anyone who cannot see that in the times we're living in, um, the only thing I could think of is that they're most likely under a strong delusion. You know, they most likely rejected the truth at uh, one point in their life. So now they're just living like everything is going to be perfectly fine. Guys, the world is not going to be the same five, 10 years from now. Okay, now, of course, no, I can't tell you that when the world is going to end. It's going to end next year. Like, no one knows the day or hour. But I could definitely tell you that the times are definitely going to change. And it's not going to be the same how it is in Babylon, man. It's, things are going to fall, man. And uh, it's going to it's gonna be pretty ugly for those who are not prepared, you know, prepared spiritually. Uh, prepared, you know, just how Noah had to prepare. Okay, now, now obviously, you don't have to have animals in your gather your animals in your barn and do all that but most importantly getting right with the most high and you know getting right with christ and uh you know being being prepared for the things to come because like it's gonna get ugly guys it's gonna get ugly a lot of people are not prepared but what they're doing now they're trying to fatten up the sheep for the slaughter get you distracted there's so many distractions being pushed out you know what were they doing in the roman empire before the fall of roman and uh of the roman roman empire okay uh they had bread and circus you know, they had, you know, sports entertainment, which is all just scripted, just like how we have today. NFL, NBA, all scripted entertainment. Um, and I mean, just a whole bunch, guys. So, so a whole bunch of, I mean, the list goes on. Uh, people care about celebrity gossip and, you know, things that don't even matter. But that's exactly what they want. They want you to keep you on a low frequency. They want to keep you on a low vibration so you're not able to see what's really taking place. And that's all their, that's all their agenda, guys. All right, check out what this guy has to say. You need to have water, you need to have uh, a, a, a radio on batteries, and you need to have a, 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 a flashlight on, on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. Things like that. That's simple things. But it starts there. The, the realization that not everything is planable, not everything is going to be honky-dory in the next 20 years. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow, but we have to realize it's not a given that we are in peace. And that's why we have the plans. That's why we are preparing for a conflict with, uh, uh, with Russia. And so let me pause it real quick. So you see how like these generals, you know, the higher ups, you know, what the world calls elites, uh, they're all preparing. You have Mark Zuckerberg building a bunker. Um, you had a whole bunch of various amounts of people you know, getting their doomsday bunkers. Like, they all know what's coming, but the average population doesn't. You know, they're just living life like everything is going to be perfectly fine. And like I said, you know, I'm not trying to push fear. Like, I already gave you guys a solution. I always give people solutions. Keep God's commandments, the light into your, your path, which talks about that in Proverbs. Uh, you know, keep your eyes on Jesus. Um, and, you know, as, as you're doing that, you're, you're going to prepare spiritually. So when this happens, like, you're not going to panic because... When this hits the fan, guys, which it is, it's prophetic. It's going to hit the fan. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fear, man. But it's just funny how all these elites are all preparing. And the average human population, they're just worrying about how they're going to pay their bills. They're not really, you know. And I feel like this is all part of the plan. Hi hyperinflation and all that. The terror groups, if it comes to it, if they attack us, we're not seeking any conflict. But if they attack us, we have to be ready. So apparently there's been reports of people panic buying radios in Sweden out of concerns that war would come to them. And I don't know if this was in response to that or not, but NATO's top military advisor basically told everybody that they should have the basic necessities that they would need to survive. Mostly just in case conflict came to the area. So like first aid, food. So there you have it, guys. Um, Civil war will be coming to America. Uh, there will be war in American soil. And uh, get right with the Most High. If you don't have a husband, as a, all you all you sisters in the truth, or you sisters who you know gave your life to God, or whatever that case is, 
got to find a husband, got to find a head to protect you, you know, because it's going to get real bad, man. I'm telling you, it's going to get real bad. And, you know, Isaiah chapter four, verse one, that prophecy will come to pass. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.